Hello everyone, this is Mesolite Visual here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate intuitive and flexible stair tool to design efficiently a simple but modern and unique staircase. The new stair tool consists of multiple sub-elements like building materials, GDL objects, and custom profiles. Examples of these GDLs are treed, risers, beams, and other support components like ray clamps and others. We are going to do this in three parts based on the stair components. The first part we're going to look at, we're going to make a flight structure, which is basically the beam. And then the second part is the treat, the step and its fixing components. The last part we're going to look at um, the railing and its component as well. For this exercise, I've prepared the stair components of this staircase and I've linked in the description for downloads so that you can follow along. I have the step here and then the frameless glass railing and its fixing components, which is the clamps. Then I have the beam profile for the flight structure that you are going to start our exercise with. Let's start by placing our staircase. Go to the stair tool and then check on the favorites. Select the beam supported stair, the first on the list. And then place the staircase on top of our treat. Just place uh, that way. Okay. And then select the staircase go to settings change the width to 1.2 so that it can accommodate the width of our our trade check on the 3d perfect it's a good start okay let's mark you the staircase and and isolate the railings and its uh, components so that we can have a clear window to work with. Select the staircase and with the power of the new stair tool we can edit staircase like curtain wall and this gives us a chance to pick specific components. Go to settings under structure make sure only beam is selected and then go to structure shape pick the profiled flight beam then go to beam component settings uh, under stair and dimension and change to the profile IPE 240 then the next page and then uncheck the treat plate then hit OK oh there's uh, another component that is remaining let's go back to the settings and then go to the next page the secondary support and check it and then okay good yeah then exit the edit mode go to the plan view and then select um, the select the treat we're going to save this treat as a GDL go to file um, libraries and object save selection as a stair treat and then make sure you create folder then save I've already saved this I'll replace and then from there the graphic representation of the stair will, will appear and then make sure you click on the midpoint then the second point then OK check on the 3D and then select the the staircase hit edit like i said you can select the components individually we're going to select only the trees then go to treat settings and replace with our, our newly created stair treat good yeah this is good Okay. 
and the last part of this exercise is going to be the frameless glass railing with the fixing components so exit the edit mode and then go to railing tool on the favorite uh, pick the frameless glass railing the first on the list then place the railing to the stay place right click ok check on the 3d okay oh there's another way of placing the the railing guys to the stay um, let's delete this one and then replace it again um, press space key and hold and then place just like that okay um, then we're going to edit this railing the first part is the top rail we're going to change it to more like a strip in our class so select it and then go to settings check it's it's on rail 23 then go to component settings i'm gonna use the square and then unlink the dimensions then the the height i'm going to use 20 the width something like 15 and then i'll change the material to stainless steel yeah okay Mm, yeah i'm pleased with the result oh sorry okay go to railing settings to fix our ends click on the ends and then make sure the first part is selected and then it's on zero and then use the the vertical or perpendicular a cut then okay yeah there we go okay it looks looks great but this there's a gap there left by the railing exit the edit mode and then let's appreciate it outside the edit mode let's see yeah select again the this railing and then edit select the panels go to settings change the segment top to oh no sorry before you do that change the the railing to railing panel 23 and then go to component settings and then uncheck the the frame change the thickness of the the glass to 10 then hit ok yeah okay looks good looks good okay and then let's put or place the the clamps for supporting this frameless uh, glass railing go to the plan view and then select the object we're going to save it this as a gdr go to file libraries and objects save selection as as a post railing post then make sure it's in the right folder i'm going to replace this i already saved it and then replace okay Um, let's go back to 3d window and then let's select the railing edit edit to place our newly created um, clamps to our glass then go to railing settings then under panels or oh, sorry inner post select the inner post change the object to ms beam glass or the newly created um object then okay oh yeah they are floating 
I think the problem here is when we saved the object as a GDL, the base offset was wasn't zero. It should be zero. I hope you understand what I'm saying. But let's go back and resave it. Go to document and let's draw an elevation here to justify what I'm trying to say. Mm, right click and open the elevation. You see the claims are on up. They are not on zero. So I'm going to pull it back down to zero. Okay. Now go back to the plan view and resave it as an as an object. File. Save selection as rail impost. Make sure you replace. Make sure you replace and save. Okay. Go back to the 3D window. There we go. Perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's let's put the clamp to give the first uh, panel support. Select and then go to settings. Um, and then under settings, go to post. Then change none to our clamping then okay perfect go back to railing settings to under the railing uh, reference line change it to the first and then okay so that your railing sits on top of the 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 staircase yeah Exit the edit mode and then let's see our our results. I'm gonna place it on the other side. Place. Okay. Change the reference line to the inside. Okay. We are done. We are done. We are done. Thank you guys for watching uh, this video. I hope it gave you an idea how to really um, take advantage and maximize the power of this new state tool to create better designs than mine. I really hope that you can do much better than this. But I'm happy with the results so far. I'm, I'm really impressed. Thank you.